Was she very? I'm doing training stage because it helps me focus. There we go. All right. So you're like, you picked her up. You're, you're just like, all right, what do I do? A second custom? Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, I made that one. That was nice. When she turns out, yeah. All right. So the important thing to remember with this character is you have an extra air action that nobody else in the cast does. You have one, two, three jumps. One, two, three jumps. You also have one, two, air dashes. One, two, one, two, one, two. You can do any combination of those five. So jump, air dash, jump, air dash, jump. You don't have another air dash, you just land. Or you can do air dash, jump, air dash, jump, jump. Actually, no, use the last jump. So you can do jump, jump, air dash, air dash, jump. There's a huge number. This is like a good combination of stuff you could do. But it's important to remember that try to keep in your head how, how many air actions you use. Air movement in this game is pretty important because it determines how you approach, how you escape. And it's really detrimental if you just find yourself falling straight down without doing anything else. No, only Alko has that many options. When she has Moon Drive, she gains the extra air dash and the extra jump. So, in Moon Drive, and in Moon Drive, one, two, three, four. So, in Moon Drive, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I was supposed to air back one, probably. All right, that's movement. Movement is just trying to figure out, okay, I'm approaching, I want to run away. That's important. Next, buttons. Fast little button, goes pretty far. You mash this up. But if you have an auto combo on, that, that'll happen. You get your auto combo. But if you're mashing 2A this many times, you should already have an idea what you want to do here. She doesn't have an air dash on her? She does, okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is now a low. This used to not be a low. This used to be a mid. You could block the standing before. Now you can't block that standing. So this is really good for a scramble situations. 5B. She kicks out this far. It's pretty nice, actually. So you see where her leg kind of like sticks out all the way out here? It, some characters cannot 2A here because they get hit in the face. So this is really good for preempting people trying to mash on you at this range. This is a good, good tool for like... Hey, I'm gonna be here. If you press a button, it's your own fault. You know, that Simpsons kid. Five C's okay because it's like combo filler, block string filler. Uh... Yeah, it's like block string filler. You could also hold it to get a beam. The beam is blockable in the air, but you use the beam for people who are. Like, if people want to approach from here, like, let's say Kohaku wants to jump from here, she has to worry about this beam, so she has to get ready to block it. Uh, 2A standard 2A, 2B. 2B moves her forward a little bit and goes kind of far. 2C does the same thing. It's a little bit slower, but it does the same thing as 2B. Goes further, hits slow, you can confirm it into stuff. Uh, her jump A is really good because it's super fast. Actually has a lot of range in front of her, so it's good for contesting people who are trying to fight you. So if they're hovering above you and you don't know what to do but you want to jump, you kind of can just do that to see what happens. Uh, jump B, this move, it's good for hitting people at this this angle. So again, if people are trying to get above you, this hits them like in that space they're trying to contest you at. That's strong. And then her jump C is like her air dash, I'm in tool. It's like, uh, me, 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 right? Uh, not everyone's 2B moves them forward, only select few. So if you want to get in with a button, it's usually air dash MC. Um, Alright, special moves. Special moves. 
Two, three, six, eight. Finger gun. So, you can actually do a follow-up to this by pressing A again, so. And then you can press it one more time to get a quick, like, full-screen laser. So if you think someone's going to try to throw a projectile at you from full-screen, you can kind of really quickly. Or, if you're in this range, it's good for, like, a small poke, like, hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Right? You can also charge the last part of your laser by holding the last one. So you do one, two, hold. One, two, hold. One, two, hold. So that's good for contesting people at full screen if they're not ready for it. Now, you have 236B. It goes full screen. It's like the last part of this, but, but it's by itself. However, B move. You hold the B button when you do 236. It actually does a lot of damage if they get hit by it by itself. So it's super strong. So, what you'll see people do sometimes is try to contest this space with 236A. It's like, hey, don't do anything. But if they like backdash, you do this big laser. Because it forces them to try to block if they haven't already jumped around. You close out matches with this, it's nice. You know what else is nice? If you spend meter, so like, let's say you have a bar down here, right? You have a bar, and you hit someone with this, you should have enough time to do this. 236C. So if you have the timing down, you can do, you can do B move into EX B move. But you have to have that timing down. You couldn't before? No, you could. You can confirm off full screen charge beam. Can you now? Oh my god, you can. What the fuck? Hold on, let me. I think I can get that. Raw 3C? Huh. I don't remember her doing that before. Uh, okay, that's a change that they made that I haven't looked at yet. <laughs> yeah, that, that's really good. That's really good. That's super good. Um, it requires no meter for her. That's why this is special. That's wild? Yeah, it, it I mean, you didn't block, it's like a, it's like a, I want to say it's probably like almost a 60 frame move, but it's like, yeah. Did the 60 series used to reach full screen on every input or am I... You mean this? You mean... I forgot about that. I forgot about the other normal. Excuse me, sorry. She has 6 e. She has 6 e. She leans in with a punch like this. Bam. 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 You, you can uh, press the C, C button again to get a follow-up. So and you get that. You can combo off that. And then she has an overhead. 4C. Oh. This is good for... Uh, if you have an orb on the screen. So if you have this orb here and you hit this, that combos. I'll talk about orbs in a second. Very strong. She can charge the first thing now. Oh, yeah. This is overhead. He didn't used to have this before. You are required to stand up to block it. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. She didn't have this before. Before, she only had this part. A quick punch. They gave her this in this version. In this patch. This. Ugh. 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 Yeah, you can charge that now. This is new for her. In this version. So, like, if, if you catch people sleeping... Fucking bop them. Uh, what else is there? 
She also has orbs. So, the important thing to remember about orbs is this. If she ever jumps back like this, this is proximity. Proximity means... If you're in range... Oops. If you're in range of the orb, it goes off. Doesn't go off. It goes off. You can hold down the button too to make them go further. They will go as far as they can to catch the opponent. So if you hold it, chase after. See? Whee! You could also do this in the air. And you could also charge these in the air to retain movement. So, you hold the button down, she gets a charge, but she gets to jump after. And you can do it again with the other orb. So you can only do it with A and B. A orb, B orb, and you can move after. A orb, B orb. If you do a repeat orb, like you do it B orb, B orb, like B orb, B orb, you you erase the previous B orb in the air. The, the previous B proximity orb. Uh, yes, ne all right, negative edge orbs. So, held orbs, negative edge orbs. If she ever points, if she ever points at you, and you're fighting her, that means she's holding this down. That means this does not pop if you're near it. She can let go of this at any time, and cause the hit that occur. I'm holding on the A button. I let go of the A button. Now, you can slot, you can use different buttons. So watch my input. Oh, because Fox is fucking godlike, bro. Fox is really good, man. No sleep. This guy's amazing. Oh. Uh, Lumino. Lumino. Thank you for following up. So if you're fast enough, you can just like switch inputs after you put out the orb. Which means if you want to use your A button, you either have to use the A, you have to use either the C or B button held down so that way you can get access to your A button, which means this. See? Same thing with the B version. However, the B version goes further. I have access to my B button. It requires this version of Alco in terms of like like holding buttons down to get like optimal block strings and damage. It requires some time. But as a beginner, your main goal should be seeing if the opponent realizes which orb is which on the screen. So if your opponent is just willy-nilly like flying at you and doesn't respect the held orb, you can get away with like putting this here, they jump at you, it pops, they get hit. So It only happens with the hell door. Oh shit, it's Scrawl, bro. I thought we were streaming. <laughs> yeah, this is actually current. This is the closest we're coming to HD current code right now. We're almost there. So this is important for Alco's game plan because people will jump at you in this game because, you know, this game is enabling. It's your job as the Alco player to learn how to at least do this. Make make it hard for them to approach the air, approaching the air with the the health orb, because if they don't respect this, you get a whole combo off this. Oh, she has a couple of other special moves that are that are you know they're pretty cool. Her two two, the air laser, it's good for contesting people at this space. It's very quick. It has no end vol. It's just like, hey, are you here? Get sniped. Same thing with the B version. 2-2-B. Two, two, 
It goes a little bit further forward, but it starts pulling slow. And then 2-2-C does this, the EX version. Creates that line of lasers. It's, a, it's a, like a cool way to snipe people. Does that guy have a fake fireball yet? Bro, what's this? What's this? This is the fake fireball. I, I threw the fireball, but it it's not... You can't hit it. You can't hit it, you can't throw a fireball back. And I fake it? It's fake because you can't get hit by it until I, until I, you know, I let go of it. Yeah, see, look at that. Fake. I can't hit it. Fake. 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 Real. <laughs> it's like if Ryu had a fireball that stayed on the screen that was fake the whole time unless he let go of the button. Uh, what else is there? She has some... Uh, she also has a DP. Uh, it, the only version of her DP that has involves the EX version. So, that's her sliding. So you use that for combos. This hits overhead. So it's good for people who like the low shield. Or, or stay crouching low. We'll see. See? She stood up. So if you think someone's just holding down back in the corner, you can do this. And force them to stand up. And if they get hit by it, you get a combo. Fake fireballs in Street Fighter 6? Hell yeah. Uh, let's see. I'm missing a special move, right? Oh, she has- oh, her moon skills, right. So she does have moon skills like everybody else. So if you- Yeah, you can pick up on the second hit in the corner. I think you can do it mid-screen too. Let me check. Oh! I guess it's free. Button. I guess you have to do 2A first. There's better combos, but like this, you know, I'm just making up something. He has moon skills too. So, forward, forward BC. This laser is super fast. This, this shit's fucking. If they're not paying attention, they're getting hit. Which means you can do. Full screen. Are oh, you get hit? Cool. Whee! Corner. That's how fucking strong she is. Um. Yeah, she has her wheel kick slot faster. One thing gives a follow. Yeah. If it hits, it bounces. After Moon just to end, it says the funny shit. Yeah. Oops. There we go. And then. Those orbs. I think she has another set of orbs. There we go. <laughs> so she has two sets of moon skill orbs. If you press back in BC, you get those orbs that like float like that. You have no control over those. They just, they just, they're, 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 they're schmoovin'. They're schmoovin'. That's pretty, this is pretty good for when you think someone's just like, they don't know how to handle orbs. You just put more shit on the screen for them. Um, she has another set of orbs, the held orbs. But they also require you just to hold a button. They will both pop at the same time, regardless of what you do. So it's like, as long as oops, it's down back, it's down back, hey, BC. If you don't have a button, they explode immediately. But you kind of use this to like scare people because they're like, oh god, what do I do? Let me shield. And you see them shield, you go low. Or they try to stand, they try to crowd shield, just throw them. She has force break note. I think that's a good way to put it, yeah. Force break note, yeah. <laughs> no follow up after first hit? Oh, I didn't know that. But yeah, I think I'll go like. Game plan is super simple. It's put out orbs and try to make it hard for your opponent to go in. Orb out. Orb out. And you can you can actually set up you can like slide your finger to hold the button whenever you want, so it's like that orb's still that orb's still back there by the way. That that's that's later. You'll worry about that later. If you're a beginning alco player, you should try to use your movement while placing orbs, finger guns, to confuse your opponent, and then if you ever get the chance to hold the button down, you can make this like your fortress type. 
setup. See, look at that. Look how hard it is to try to jump in on that. Space denial and strong friends, yes. Controlling space, space control. <laughs> nobody, nobody, there's only one person in the chat who should know what I just said. <laughs> 